Good morning, all of you. Already I have uh, explained variant 12, additional mathematics were O level. Now, my target is to explain variant 22. This is winter, I mean, 2020, Cambridge additional mathematics, O level. So let us see that papers, what is given there. So I am Anjan Bhattacharji. Uh, I'm going to start variant 22, additional mathematics, O-level. I mean, paper two, O-level. This is uh, winter 2020, I mean, October, November 2020, variant 12. So let us see what is given in that questions. So this is Cambridge O-Level. Uh, this one is October, November 2020. And this is two hours papers. Its subject code is 4037 variant 22 starting before starting you must write here candidate's name center number candidate number clearly after that go through the information uh, i mean uh, what is given here as instructions you should follow that first one answer all questions you must use black or dark blue pen hb pencil and then do not use an erasable pen or correction fluid don't write on the barcode and you can use calculator and you must show all necessary workings clearly no marks will be given for the unsupported answers from your calculators non-exact numerical answers Correct to three significant figures or decimal places for angles is given in degree unless a different level of accuracy is specified in the person. So the first question, what is given there? It is solve the inequalities x minus eight x minus 10 greater than 35. So this is the inequalities we need to solve this. Before this, we must remove the brackets. So if you uh, remove this bracket, you know, foil, this one multiplied with this, x will be multiplied with 10. Later on, it will be multiplied with x and a will be multiplied with 10. So let us do that x with x that is x squared 10 with that is 10x minus 8x minus minus plus 80 greater than 35. Now let us simplify. It will be x squared minus 18x 35 it is subtracted from 80 it will be 45 plus 45 that is greater than zero now let us factorize this so it is uh that is if, uh, 45 315 if you break it 45 equals to 15 times 3 and if you add this to 15 and 3 you are having 18 so we can write here 15x minus 3x plus 45 greater than 0. 
x minus 15, three x minus 15. So now it is becoming x minus three, x minus 15 rather than zero. And then we can draw, this is quadratic inequalities. This is three, then this is 15. Then we can draw the quadratic graphs. Since it is greater than, we can shade this part. Now we can write the answers in that way, x less than three or x greater than five. And this is the answer. So I think it is quite interesting to solve these types of maths. Okay, I hope you'd enjoy the rest of the maths so before starting the rest of the maths, you should be prepared. You should have strong concept in additional mathematics. Let us try question number two. We have done number one quite interestingly. Let us start question number two. It's also very easy. Uh, if you have sound knowledge regarding indices, you can solve it easily. So that's the question. Find the value of x such that four to the power x plus one to the power x minus one, there is, uh, there is 32 to the power x by three into eight to the power one by three. So let us write this one in that way, two squared x plus one, two, let me write it same. This is uh, two to the power five x by three into, 2 cubed, 1 by 3. Now let us multiply this power to power. We know that a to the power m and n equals to, we can write a to the power m and Let us write an example. Suppose a to the power a cubed whole square, we can write it a to the power 6. Okay. Now let us follow this formula uh, to solve this one. Okay, so two to the power two x plus two, I mean plus two, two to the power x minus one equals to two to the power, let us multiply five with x by three, five x by three, and two to the power, if you multiply this, this will be one. Now we have learned a few more formulas that is from a to the power m by a to the power n base is same we will minus we will minus the powers and then for multiplication base same we will add the powers. So now let us write 2x plus 2 minus x minus one, then two to the power five x by three plus one. So base same, we are adding the powers. Their base is same, we are subtracting the powers. Now let us remove the brackets. If we remove the brackets, the inner sign will be changed. And then we can solve here. That is five x plus three. So let us simplify. 2x subtracted x, then plus 2 and plus 1, that is 3. So 2 to the power 5x plus 3 divided by 3. I'm making the things quite unnecessary lines I'm writing here. So power base is same. We can equal the powers. Now let us simplify this one. 3x plus 9 equals to 5x plus 3. 
So 3x subtracted from both sides and 3 is subtracted from both sides, 6, and that is 2x, 2x time, 2 times x, so divide both sides by 2, so 3 equals to x, therefore we are having the answer x equals to 3. So that's the question number 2. We have nicely completed question number two. Okay, let me start question number three. We have already finished up to question number two. So let's see what is given in the question number three. In question number three, there are two parts, A and B, each carry separate marks, that is five and three. Now let's see how to solve uh, question number three. In this question, there is given find the equation of perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining 12, 1 and 4, 3, giving your answers in the form y goes to mx plus c. So first of all, let me draw two points put two points here 12 1 and then 4 3 join these two points when you are finding out bisector then you need to find out the midpoint of these two points the formula to find out midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 now let me use these values now 12 plus 4 divided by 2 then 1 plus 3 divided by 2 so if you add this to this will be 16 by 2 that is 8 1 plus 3 4 4 by 2 that is 2 so the coordinates of the bisector i mean midpoint is 8 2 since it is given to find out perpendicular, so we need to first of all find out the gradient of this line. So let us find out the, the what is the formula for find y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let us consider this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. So let us write 3 minus 1 by 4 minus 12. So we are having here 2 by 12 minus 4, that is 8, that is 1 by 4. Obviously, minus, minus 1 by 4. So perpendicular gradient of this perpendicular line, that is, it will be negative reciprocal. So change this upside down and sign will be positive. So gradient will, of perpendicular line will be four we know that equation equation of straight line equation of of straight line y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 since we are finding out the equation of this line let us use the midpoints coordinates that is y minus 2 equals to let me use this gradient now, x minus 8. And we, we simplify this, 4x minus 32. And if 2, two goes in there, side so will be plus 2. So y equals to 4x plus 30. See, this is in this form, y equals to mx plus c form. That is y equals to 4x plus 30. This is the answer. Now let us do question B. The perpendicular bisectors cut the axis. Axis means x-axis and y-axis. Uh, find the length of AB. Okay, so let us find out the coordinates of A and B first of all. Then we will find out the distance between these two points. So on x-axis, on 
x axis y equals to zero. So let me use this y equals to zero. Uh, if I put here y equals to zero, it is four x plus 30. Now x equals to, it will be minus 30 by four, that is 15 by two. Then on y axis, x equals to zero. Now, if I put x equals to zero there, it will be y plus four times zero plus 30, that means y equals to 30. So I got the coordinates here, 15 by two zero and the zero 30. Let us consider that this one is as A and this one as B. If I put this point on the graph here, it will be minus 15 by two, minus 15 by two, and then 30 will be here. We are finding out this length. We can use distance formula, AB equals to root over. Let me consider this X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2, we can write here. X1 minus X2 whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 whole square. I can you plug in these values and find it out. Otherwise, we can solve this is 30 length. This is 15 by 2. We can find straight Pythagoras here. That is fifteen by two whole square plus I mean x minus fifteen by two minus zero. That is fifteen by two whole square and zero minus thirty thirty whole square. If we use calculator, we can plug in the values in the calculator. We can find out here. 30.9, this is the answer. So thank you very much for watching question number three. I hope you can follow question number four in my next lecture.